you're doing. I'm trying to watch the hockey game. You'll see it better if you stand in front of the screen. <laughs> Hilarious. Anything? I think those are hockey players. Nah, I would have said hobbits. See, now this bothers me. I know. I wish we could afford cable, too, but... Not that. We got a letter addressed to Mr. and Mrs. Tom Bellow. Oh, cool. Our first mail is husband and wife. Yeah, or in this case, husband and some woman with no name of her own. No, you're right. You're right. It, it's, a, it's an outrage. You know, some people just make me so... Oh, fuzzy. Who's Charles Bellow, anyway? It's my Uncle Charlie. He's the best. Please. He is obviously one of those dinosaurs who believes women belong in the kitchen, darning butter, and turning socks. Or however that goes. He sent us a wedding check for $3,000. Good old Uncle Charlie! <laughs> Okay, buddy, you're all set. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Um, new wife within earshot. Mm. You two are married? Congrats. When's the baby due? I'm not pregnant. Oh. Check out this cable package. Linen Network, Fast Food Network, MTV Latvia. We really need all these channels. And the Design Channel, too? It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Sumo wrestling in HD, Jess. We finally don't. Did we score a deal on this or what? Yeah, and we still got money left over. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Family got Leather box set. couch. Did I see a TV delivery truck outside? Or we could put it in a bank so we can move out of here. Whoa. Joint account. Are you sure we're ready for that? Come on, Tom. I want to watch Bill O'Reilly. Yeah. Ready. Okay. Benjamin Herbert what? Bellow. Were you looking at Tara's behind? Oh, don't be ridiculous. You were. I, I was, saw it, Ben. I was not. Stop, you stop, stop. Are you checking on my woman? No. I mean, shut up. Caught with your hand in the cookie jar, huh? Well, I can't blame you. That is one fine behind. It is not. I mean, I was, I was, I mean, shut up. Hey, guys. Was Ben checking me out? Oh, for the love of... Phil, you are an ass. Well, you are the expert. <laughs> so, um, how much do you work out, Tara? Or is it genetic? Genetics, no. I bust my ass at Aerobox. Major calorie burner. Oh, my God, you know what? You should come and try a class with me. Well, I actually have a pretty intensive routine myself. It's called Bodies. Never trust a class with an exclamation mark in the title. Nice one, honey. <laughs> what, like you've ever been to a gym? It's not my fault guys don't have to work out. Excuse me? I'm just saying it's different for dudes. We can be hunky in our middle years mm. without trying. For once, Phil has a point. I mean, look at Sean Connery. You know what? That is such a sexist attitude. We don't make the rules, we just enjoy them. Oh. <laughs> we enjoy being healthy. So, yes, Tara, I would love to join you. Great. Damn it. Phil, what is that your beer bottle? Oh, just leave it. A joint account. Mm. All right, so just a few signatures, and then you two will be joined together in holy matrimony. <laughs> Money. <laughs> Get it? Anyway, um... This is a very mature decision that you two are making. When I look at you kids, I think that there is hope for the future. And we're well, your little one right there. I'm not pregnant. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, so this is the breakdown of the money in the account. Uh, Tom, I took what was left of your uh, uncle's gift, and the money from your old paper route and your bar mitzvah, etc. And it comes to a grand total of 3425 <laughs> Nice. 
And Jesse's contribution is twenty-seven fifty. Almost three grand, babe. Nice. Actually, no, no, twenty-seven dollars and fifty cents. Oh. See, I knew we weren't ready for a joint account. Who cares who puts in what? No, what's mine is yours, right? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Cool. Mm. <sighs> Thank you. Mm. Hey, why don't we celebrate our new account by going for a nice juicy steak? Steak? <laughs> Isn't that a bit? Oh no, don't worry. It's on me. I'll have to ask my wife, but that sounds nice. How long is this class supposed to be? Two hours. How much longer do we have? Two hours. It's just a warm up. Judith? Oh my God, are you okay? Am I lying down? Or are you? Guess what this is? A really thin crust pizza. A gift for my dad. A Grateful Dead album signed by Bob Weir. Who's Bob Weir? Well, you know how there was Jerry Garcia and the other guys? Uh-huh. He was one of the other guys? Why are your sister and my parents refugee here? They're watching a Spanish telenovela. How much was the album, Jess? Hopefully not as much as the singing lessons you got your mom? You can't put a price on dreams. Can you try? Fine. $200. That's outrageous. Yeah, a little. Hector's a woman. Wait, I gotta see this. Great workout, guys. Yeah. You know something? I'm really impressed. It's only been a week, but you've really improved. Yeah. One day I may even finish a session. Hey! I lost a pound. <laughs> I lost three. <laughs> Let's say you and I celebrate, hmm? With a post-workout cool down, hmm? What is it, some sort of flaky bodies thing? Yeah, something like that. Two martinis, straight up, easy on the vermouth, three olives. You know, I don't normally drink after a workout. The calories are killer. Make it two olives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if that wasn't enough, she bought me some kind of extreme waste paper basket for 120 bucks. Hey, I know people who would kill for a trash lamp. Yeah, well, the woman's out of control, Carter. You want to know what's out of control? This chick I'm seeing. Dude, I think I'm in love. Great, because I was hoping we could make this conversation about you. Oh, great, because listen, I really want you to meet her. Huh? Her name's Jane. Or Jen. Jenny's? Seriously? You know what, names are just labels, anyway. Why, why are you hiding your pin, man? Look, I, I know it's 80085. Boobs. Huh? And I'm 35007. Loose. We're team loose boobs. No, I had to change my pin when me and Jesse got the joint account, okay? Wait, what? You, you changed your, your pin to what? Tom Z? Wow. Well, hey, look, it's like Brangelina. But obviously much, much worse. It was Jesse's idea, okay? Holy crap! Uh, my account is down 600 bucks. You know, I wouldn't really worry about it, Tom C. The bank probably just made a mistake. Yeah, well, I have a stainless steel trash slam at home that says otherwise. Janine! Tom C? What, like Brangelina? I know, it was Tom's idea. And yet you're still buying him concert tickets. Your debit card's not working. That's not possible. My husband and I just opened the account. Your husband? What are you do? I'm not pregnant. Try it again. Sorry. Maybe the account's been closed. But the only person who can close the account besides me is... Your husband? You mean you're actually having sex with a guy who comes up with Tomsey? Oh, not anymore. You closed our account? What was I supposed to do? Leather-bound encyclopedias for 300 bucks. Have you ever heard of Wikipedia? It's called being generous, and they're for your father, who, may I remind you, thinks Wikipedia is run by Wiccans. And what do we need new bed sheets for? What's wrong with the old ones? They have Buzz Lightyear on them. Yeah, and they work, don't they? Since when did 
you become such a penny pincher? Since I'm trying to save for our future. We're 18, Tom. We have the rest of our lives to save money. Why not enjoy it while we can? A silver picture frame is not my idea of enjoying money. I bought that for you so you can hang your degree when you graduate. Oh. Okay, well, that's very nice. Oh, what about this skirt, hmm? Okay, that one's for me. What, I'm not a saint. All I'm asking is that you consult with me before spending my money. Your money? What happened to what's mine is yours? It's all mine and no yours. <laughs> That's what happened. You won't get away with this, Tom Bello. Five o'clock class already started. Oh, I'll just wait for the next one, though. I am so sorry I made us late. Please, let me make it up to you. Hmm? Well, we have a couple of hours to kill. Mm. All right, what do you have in mind? Oh, my God. It's been so long since I've had full fat cheese. I bet Phil doesn't like counting calories. Phil doesn't like counting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's the two martinis. Three. Three martinis? Uh -huh. mm. But I say, to hell with trying to stay young and fit while our husbands drink beer and poke holes in their belts. Exactly. It is such a double standard. Is that really the time? Oh, yeah. I guess we better leave now if we want to make the workout. Although it's still rush hour. Might not make it there at all. Dessert. <laughs> Barky? Don't get me wrong. I love Jesse. Oh, dear. That's bad. What? Well, you've only been married for a month, and you just prefaced I love my wife with don't get me wrong. It took me years to get there. No, it's just... I don't understand why she has to spend my money. I mean, our money. I mean... Son, there's an old book called Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. You read that? No, oh, no, no, no. I wouldn't read that crap on a bet. No, no, the only reason I have it was because your mother got it for me as a gift, using our money. So, what did you do? Well, the only thing I could do, I put her on an allowance. How do you and Mom deal with the household budget? Well, I tell her how much money I need every week, and she gives it to me. So, in a way, you're on an allowance. <laughs> anyway, I have to get back to these bills here. Does Mom pay those? Yeah, I just have to make sure they're not addressed to Mr. and Mrs. Judith Bellow. Thanks for coming. I came for the free juice. I have no money, remember? I shouldn't have closed the account. I just want to make sure that we have a future. I suppose. And a future for our children. Okay. And our grandchildren. Overselling. I'm sorry. Am I forgiven? <sighs> you know I can't stay mad at you. So, I guess we should head back to the bank and reopen the account. I have a better idea. You wrote me a check for $100? It may not seem like a lot of money, but you put it to good use. It'll last you the next week. So you're putting me on an allowance? It's not an allowance. It's a, uh, it's a sum of money that I allot to you for personal and general living expenses. What? Nothing. No, you're actually right. I'm gonna put this to good use. The allowance wouldn't cover new lingerie, so I had to get a hand-me-down. It was your mother's. Oh. Spam? Oh no, the allowance wouldn't cover spam. You're eating spam. Jess? Hey, where's the toilet paper? Sorry, allowance wouldn't cover it. You'll have to use this. It's fun, yeah, you know it. So let's go 
Love. To girl power. Mm, to deep fried zucchini. To taking everything society tells us to avoid in the name of form fitting jeans and telling them to stick it. <laughs> you know, the last couple of weeks of not working out together has been really nice. Mm. <laughs> Even if I did gain five pounds. What? What? You just smiled. I didn't. I didn't smile. Yes, you did. You smiled when I said that I gained five pounds. That's crazy. <gasps> you did it again. Oh, my God. You did this on piss. Oh, my God. I did. <sighs> You know what? I thought that we were finally becoming friends. We are. We are. But when I saw Ben looking at your ass set, something in me just snapped. Will you forgive me? I guess it wasn't entirely your fault. I mean, ben was the one that started it. All these years of, of being objectified can make a girl crazy. I can't believe that we're still falling into these sexist traps. I mean, men don't have to work out. Ooh, look at Sean Connery. How come they never mention sexy older women, huh? Like Sophia Loren or Isabella Rossellini. Hmm? Exactly. God, I wish I was Italian. All the work that we have to do, <laughs> they have no idea what it's like. Maybe it's time they found out. Hmm? How could you return our TV? Our TV or your TV? I seem to have lost track of what belongs to whom. But you, you did this to get back at me? No, I did this to be responsible, just like you wanted. So what did you do with the refund since you're so responsible now? I locked it into a five-year bond. Five years? Oh, don't worry. The interest will be paid out annually. Consider it an allowance. This is getting good. Mm. It's like Tom's living in the 50s. Mm -hmm. Next thing, he's going to be calling me the Mrs. Oh, God. I mean, an allowance. Have you ever heard of anything so sexist? Oh, yes. Oh, what's that thing? Dad, are you even listening? Jesse, um, don't get me wrong, because I love you. <laughs> oh, boy. Truth is, Tom isn't sexist. Tom's... Right. You're terrible with money. You always have been. What? I am not. Give me one example. Well, it's called a piggy bank, sweetie. And you can start saving money. And I'm going to get my big girl started right away. <laughs> Jesse, you are a sweet, generous girl. You're just bad at saving money, that's all. Is that mom? Something wrong, honey? Backstabbing, two timing women. That is what is wrong. Drum circle, cut off your solo again. No, it's Judith. What'd she do? She draped herself in the flag of feminism just to get back at me for having what she doesn't. I mean, the nerve of that woman. <laughs> you don't see me trying to sabotage her because her house is nicer or her grass is greener or because her husband is so ripped, do you? Ben's ripped? Yes, but I don't make her suffer for it, do I? Ben is ripped? Oh. That Tara. She walks around with her odorless deodorant, her airy fairy come as you are propaganda, when she is just as superficial as they come. Oh, I meant that. Yeah. I mean, all she really cares about is her tight body, her organic clothing, and her hunky husband. Yeah, I, well, that's what. Phil is hunky? Well, not in the traditional sense, no. I mean, you know, he's just got those nice broad shoulders, those strong arms. Hunky, you know, like he lifts stuff. Oh. Can I buy the counter boy a ginger zinger? Don't worry. 
I borrowed it from my dad. He and I had little chat. Oh, does he hate me now, too? Actually, he defended you. Turns out I've never been any good with money, and you were right to be a jerk, even though you weren't, because this was totally my fault. I'm sorry. Me too. Does this mean you're willing to trust me with our money again? Can I? You can trust the fact that I want to save enough money so we can buy a place of our own and build a life together. That's really sweet, Jess. It's from the Spanish telenovela, but it still counts. By the way, Tomsey is no more. Your new pin? 80085. That's why I married you. <laughs>